Hi everyone and thanks for stopping by this brief video. I want to tell you about a really fantastic program called Wonder. So if you're searching for it on the internet, it's wonder.me. Um, I signed into it last week for the first time and it took me just 20 minutes to learn how to do it. And that's what I want to show you about here. When so many of our students and colleagues say that they find uh, me meeting online rather difficult, especially with the, the breakout rooms in some programs, then this wonder.me is going to be really fantastic for you. And I'll show you exactly how in a moment. All you need to do is to go to that website and then just um, uh, click the button to sign in for a space. So when it says on here, create a space, you do that. And that's then how you register onto the program. And you'll be sent within a few minutes, you're sent a URL for the space. So you can see that I've got two on here already. And the first one I created was this getting to know you. And that's the one I want to show you about at the moment. So I've got a module starting in a few weeks time and I've got four different uh, professions four different groups of professionals joining it and this is what I want to do with them. Okay, so that's me signed into this particular room and what I've done, I've chosen the background for it. Um, if I click on this button here that says Space Editor and on there you can change the background image so you can upload your own photos or use a whole load that they've got. So I've just used one of theirs. And then um, I've created areas. When it says areas here, you will have noticed uh, that, that it's asking you to set a little question as an icebreaker as well. That's on this bit here, because when people sign in for it, it takes their photo or they can upload a photo on there. So their little avatar will be floating around. Like you can see this little avatar of me here and you can move that around. But when you scroll over somebody else's, it gives you a little box that'll pop up that says, uh, uh, tells you their name and their response to the question. So you might want to set a little fun question like, you know, what was the first animal you ever had or what's your favorite animal? And that's going to come up on here. So it gives people something to talk about. Obviously, you may want to set more academic things, but it's meant to be a little fun icebreaker. So what I've done on this screen is to set a few different panels for the four different professional groups I've got and then I just made up a few around the place. So by the photocopier, in the queue, in the dining room or whatever. And when the people come in, so you can generate a link just before you sign in yourself or by going to the bottom of the page here. I've called this page getting to know you. And if I click that little sign there, there you go. I've copied that uh, um, URL. So you send that to people and that's how they sign in. When they sign in, they'll appear as these little avatars. Now I've already signed myself in on my laptop. So let me just show you. There you go. Look, there's an avatar moving in. So if I put my cursor over that now, it's going to tell me who the person is and what their answer is to the question. And they can move around the place wherever they want to go. You can have up to 500 people on here at any one time. Um, but when people start moving close to each other, that's when they form what's called these wonder circles. And that's what, so when you move close to the other person, that's what puts you into a circle with them and turns on their webcam. And if you want to see them enlarge, you can click on that picture and it enlarges the video of the person you're talking to. When you move around, you can go to wherever you want. When people go into those wonder circles, uh, you can actually have 14 people in there. So although you can have up to um, 500 on here altogether, um, they, they'll go into circles of up to 14. And the person just needs to move around, click on their avatar and go wherever they want to go. And as long as somebody else follows them and goes nearby, that's what turns on their videos, okay? So it's as simple as that. So it's really wonderful for getting people to introduce themselves. The way in which I'm going to use this is ask them to go into their specific profession groups for a few minutes and then to go and mix in these other four zones, mix up with other people and just start chatting and talking about who they are, what they want from the course. So you can do all of that. Then as host, you've got a lot of little um, uh, uh, tabs down the right hand side here, your own profile. So you can put in details there or upload a photo. When you click on the participant list, that will show you everyone on there. Now, look, you can send them a private chat. 
okay? Or the other way to send a chat is with this button here. When you click on that, you can either send a message to everyone or to those within your own circle, your wonder circle, or privately to individuals one at a time, okay? You can send those. Now those messages will stay here for the people who are signed in, but if anybody signs in late, they won't see any previous messages that have been set. A little fun thing now for Christmas 2021 is they've put the Christmas mode on. And if I click on that, there you go. It's put Santa Claus hats on us all. It's showing some snow going around. You can even throw snowballs at each other. I can't remember how to do that. Okay, so there's lots of little things you can do there. Uh, if you click on the space editor, that's where you can give it a name. So I've called this getting to know you. You can change the image background just by clicking that and you choose on whatever ones you want or upload your own. Um, you can make somebody else a co-host. So supposing there are a couple of you doing a teaching session, you invite them to be co-hosts as well. And it means they've got full access to all of these instruction things as well. If you want extra privacy, you can give people um, um, a guest password that they have to use to get in. And this is for creating these spaces around here. So you can see I've created the ones for different professional groups and then the coffee room and that type of thing. You create as many as you want. Okay, that's that tab. And the other good thing about this is the next one, which says broadcast. And that means for you as the host, you can then interrupt everyone's conversation. So if they're all in their little wonder circles all around the place talking, when you click on this, start broadcast, it counts you down for 10 seconds. So they'll see this, and then within a few seconds, it stops them talking to each other. So you've now got the main camera in which to talk to them. Okay, so if you're doing a teaching session or something, you can have as long as you like on this, um, and that's how you're doing your session to them. All right, so it may be that you're just interrupting them for a couple of minutes, or you're doing a whole presentation. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, on this one, you can even share your screen. So if you are using PowerPoint or Prezi or something, click this and you share your screen just as you do in any of the other programs. The only one thing that you can't do with this um, uh, uh, is actually to record it. Okay, so there's no way of recording it within this program and you can't use it simultaneously through MS Teams or Zoom. So what I'm going to do with the new course starting in a few weeks time, I'm putting this link for the first hour. So just getting to introduce ourselves and get to know each other, we'll do this. And then after break, then we'll go on to Zoom, uh, to uh, MS Teams. And that's when I can record the sessions, uh, which are more formal then. But this is a wonderful way to get together especially for people to introduce themselves and get to know one another. And if you don't need to record in it, then uh, yes, why not use this? The first time I came across it was with Thomas More University in Belgium last year. They used this for hundreds of us uh, for their international days. Uh, but I only signed up for it myself a week ago. And as I say, it took me 20 minutes to learn how to do it. And so that's, that's all there is to it. It's as easy as that. I hope you have fun. You just need to sign up at wonder.me.